What's up dudes and dudettes from American Top Team Connecticut Core Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Association. Here I am again in my basement and I'm thinking about a lot of stuff as far as like workouts and I know it's hard to do by yourself. I know it's really hard to find motivation. So here one go for you to maybe stay motivated. Just think that some people will be doing some sort of some training. <laughs> uh, something that they like to do or they are lucky to have maybe a workout um, machine in their homes or free weights and etc. So here I am, I don't have anything, I don't have any free weights, I don't have any dumbbells or even kettlebells at my house. And I have the padded mats, but actually you don't need the padded mat. So I was thinking here, very common, we can find things to work maybe biceps and back. A lot of the workouts we can do really good squats and lunges um, for our legs. There's a lot of things that we can do for our core, simple things like regular push-ups and variations of push-ups. It's very easy also to work chest and triceps, regular push-ups, inclined, declined. Um, it's easy to do triceps dips using even a piece of furniture, maybe even your couch, or if you have a stable chair. But sometimes it's a little bit more challenging working your back muscles. So this is something that I saw someone doing it, kind of, and I'm like, ah, maybe there's like, there's some good stuff here. And um, so I'm gonna get my gi, and I will, you guys could find other ways to do it. I, I wanna keep like this, kind of like, I don't know if the word is tactile, like a sensation or feeling in my hands that I'm still grabbing a jiu-jitsu uniform. Kind of like after 30 years doing this, I miss uh, grabbing someone by the sleeves or the lapel. And um, okay, so I, instead of using a rope or using something else, I'm gonna use my own gi. And I will play some spider guard on my own. It's gonna be tricky to get the lasso going. Uh, does it translate to what we do? Somewhat, right? Um, if you keep your head and your shoulders off the floor, to get a little bit off uh, with your lower back a little bit off the floor, you're also gonna be working maybe core, um, your abs. And if you use a good tension, right? To one side, to the other side with a good pull, you're definitely going to be working some back muscles as well. I'm not a uh, trainer. Uh, I'm a jiu-jitsu coach, MMA coach, self-defense and combatives coach, RMA coach, but I'm not really like um, a physical trainer, but I learned some things over time. One thing I noticed, and this is something that I mentioned before, and I just before I go over the workout, I want to uh, tell you guys, it, there's a really strong component in this kind of workout which is this concentration of strength that we're going to do a little bit i'm going to try to play here so you guys uh there's no sequence this is mostly for you guys to maybe um come up with your own thing please do it do it do it this is the time that things are changing martial arts training pretty much has been changing over the last two months very because we we are very much because we can see now that we can actually do some things during our off hours that are somewhat or resembles martial arts training. So what I want to tell you guys, like if you go to any good um, therapist, let's say that deals well with stress and anxiety, sometimes they recommend some kind of body work as far as like things you can do to relax yourself. There's of course breathing, there's of course uh, meditation. But sometimes some people are so overwhelmed and they need the body relaxation. And that's what you guys don't realize that especially in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, there's a huge factor that helps you uh, feel better and balanced after class when you all go home like, oh my God, this was so good. Oh, I'm feeling so, this, is re this relief is so big and it's so good, right? But why is that? It's just because we have so much going on after, well, during the class, after the class, and a few things has to do with our breathing. A lot of things has to do with your body getting tired, telling your brain that you relax and tired right now. So I always mention this, you go back to my weekly talks or to my podcast, like when my uh, therapist that used to go and see it for anxiety and things like that, she used to say that, 
after watching your jiu-jitsu uh, training and she watched me competing, she said, like, jiu-jitsu is so wonderful because every time you finish rolling, what you do is, like, right? And then you slap and bump. But that thing, just the, whew, that, that's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all we need right now. It's just to have something that we can go, whew, that's it. Like when you breathe out, it's almost like you're getting all the stress and just getting through your breathing. All right. Of course, it's not that. There's more things going on as far as like your feel good hormones, your neurochemicals that are working and releasing and counterbalancing all the uh, epinephrine, norepinephrine, cortisol, all the stressful hormones. Right, right now, you're not just getting rid of them. You counterbalancing. You're bringing, you know, your your serotonin up. You're bringing your endorphins, your dopamine. Everything is working better right now. And if you know this stuff, you want to share with me, so I become more uh, knowledgeable, and we maybe can even build a research together about that. And I'll be very happy to contribute somehow. But that's pretty much the facts of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and grappling, and wrestling. That's the whole thing, like that tension, and and then we're doing all this tension, and we like, let go, boop, time's up. Oh my God, that was so good. Just remember every time you finish competing, right? Every time I go for a competition, it's still, I still feel the anxiety, the anticipatory anxiety, um, all those things that are stressful, not so good, but afterwards, every time, and every time I'm there in the bullpen area, I'm thinking like, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. I'm not going to compete. Why I'm putting myself in this situation? And then when I finish the tournament, I'm like, I want to compete next week again. That's how crazy, magical Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is. So Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is magical. Just remember that. Quote me. Okay? Maybe somebody else said that. Uh, things here, you could maybe get a rubber band and uh, try to tie this up um, or something like that. I'm not going to do it. Just going to improvise here. It's pretty much like that's what I did, right? Just chop it over here. So <laughs> what I thought about doing it was like holding maybe from the edges of my sleeves and uh, starting from, see where there's this Shoyu row name dropping here because they are the best guys ever met in the whole jujitsu kimono industry ever. Uh, so I'm gonna put my foot about that Shoyu row logo here a little bit lower because I know that would be maybe the shoulder or the elbow of my friend here, okay? So I'll start maybe like this, and we can start with a good strong pull, right? So we can see that I'm pulling and I'm trying to work this. It would be a little tricky, but let's see where we can go with this thing. And then, you know, now I'm working here. Well, the gi just like moved a little bit. Let me just do, uh, adjust this very quick. All right, so let me go back here just because it might get in the way a little bit. But what I suggest is maybe getting a zip tie or just a piece of tape, wrap it over, and come up with your own sleeve system here. I like just getting my guitar. top. I'm not gonna buy anything, especially now we cannot spend money because we don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna start like doing like uh, this kind of control, this kind of control here. I can extend, I can try to maybe even use a little bit more my body weight to sit up and start moving right so just like come up with like silly stuff and people are like oh that's stupid i'm like i don't care at least i'm working out what are you doing right so i get this good tension but what i want you guys focusing on is this thing here i'm using my strength against myself i'm fighting myself and then maybe like get that heel in like um when i was breaking down uh, I forgot the name of the, the fighter, how he had the sh heel on the shoulder. Adjust yourself again, you know, and maybe you come back to the gym with a way better spider guard lasso game here. And then just tie it up, right? There's nothing silly right now as far as like what you can do for training. The most important is that you train, that you keep active and use that strength. Maybe get this and use as your break doing your um, other workouts. Okay, I'm gonna play more of this here. Just play around. Play around with your spider guard here, right? It's not like improvising, you know? Push, 
I would just like get a, a rubber band to tie this up. So, you know, then I can sit up, I can move, pull around again and just like be crazy. Just go crazy, go nuts here, I don't care. You know, maybe, look, my dog is watching me there. Like, what is my owner doing? But what I'm doing is I'm using this tension here. I'm kicking this leg forward. I'm pulling my arm. I'm keeping tight. Move, move, move. You know, bring a little bit more over the head. You know, and as you hear, like, start like playing a little bit, how you, how you control, go back. Start adjusting yourself. Start adjusting yourself. That's it. But it, I want you guys to notice that I'm really pulling this, especially the leg that is straight, especially the side here. Push, get back, play around, guys, play around, guys and girls, kids, adults. Just look. Of course, there would be like you developing something here, right? Just think, what else could I do, right? The biggest key is to find opportunity and to find exits, opportunities during hard times. Exits when we feel that we are trapped. Are you feeling stressed? Workout. I'm feeling stressed. I just like one little thing that I did and I'm sort of like sweating here and Maybe because I'm out of shape. Maybe because I have to do more of this But actually it's pretty fun to do it and I suggest you guys to do the same Okay, I'm back here and all right, let's see again. Look, I'm not I didn't plan anything I was doing the lucky 13 video. And I'm like why not doing this thing? Okay, and I'm like, well, maybe there's something here, right? So I could do something like this here, wrap it over, and um, and actually, um, also, I just learned a, a good way to make a grappling dummy, and I'm gonna do that next time. Um, and that's, I'm um, say, I'm gonna steal the ideas here from. Uh, the guys from the pit, Idaho. <laughs> but actually, right now, I think all ideas are pretty much public domain. <laughs> right? So, maybe there's something like this. Look. We work a little bit better. Right? And, and the reason why I'm not going to add it, the first part, is just because I want to, again, inspire and motivate everyone to... Do what I, I was just doing it. Like, I thought about it. I'm like, let me record before I forget. Let me see what I can have from here. This is not going to ruin my gi. Um, this is not going to do any damage to it. All right. Um, I just have a little bit better. Oh, look who's here. She might work out with me. Okay. And uh, actually create a little different way. Kind of funny. Right. Hi, Maggie. Would you let me work? All right, so, so I'm right here. Yeah, that worked pretty well. So again, guys, this is on the go. I know that is a recorded video, but there will be no editing as far as like, um, I just want to show you guys to think outside the box. All right, if you're feeling depressed, anxious, if you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, first do something to release your stress so you can think clearly. And don't forget, the less stress, the better chance that you will have to fight any disease, any disease. All right, so I have that. Go back here. Sorry, oh, that works better. Look at this. That works pretty better than that, right? So that's a pretty much like, I'm doing my own research and my findings. Guys, you can change this grip. Look, I have this last one. I know we don't do this kind of grip, but maybe switch to this kind of hammer style biceps curl that I'm holding here right and i'm a pretty big dude right so i'm 240 and this is my gi my shoulder row gi a3 gi uh you might if you don't want to if you don't want to do this on your your other gis your good gis go buy something cheap online get an old gi all right i don't use those sleeves i use gis like my gi top look at this and then you can start playing around 
you know, sit up, work my my different grips, switch to maybe hammer. Make sense? I don't know. There's something here. I hope you guys stay motivated. Um, this is Maggie. Lunas is sleeping. I hope you guys stay motivated. Um, find a little release. Find a ways to release your stress doing your workouts. And um, I hope this little doggy brings some smiles and some laughter. <laughs> and Luna, come here. She's sleeping. She's not going to come here. But guys, thank you for watching. Stay motivated. Stay focused. Listen, even I have my bad days. Even I have my, uh, I tell this to everyone. People see us black belts as role models. But we are human. And um, if you're not one of my students, and just make sure that you say hi to your, send a message to your coach. Tell your coach that you support him or her. Tell your coach that you really, the team and the school really matters in your life. In your life. Because sometimes uh, what has been keeping me going, hopeful, and even with energy to do this kind of videos and everything, it's pretty much all of you guys, my students that I love so much, and everybody that have contributed one way or the other, sometimes just say, hey coach, how are you? That's sometimes so much you cannot imagine, right? So thank you very much for watching this. Support your Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gym. Be creative. Very good point that one of my friends said, like some people feel awkward doing this stuff by your own, on your own. Don't feel awkward. Don't feel like, oh, this is strange, that I'm not used to, that this is silly. Trust me, guys, just like forget it. Like do like me, uh, I'm here just surrounded by my two dogs and I'm working this, you know, just by myself. I don't care if I look goofy. I don't, don't care if I, how I look to the cameras. Um, just do it, just do it and never let your passion and that fire, right, uh, extinguish. Just like keep going, all right? We can be strong even on, your, on the days that you're feeling weak. All right, God bless you guys. Work out. This is a good, um, good way to do it. And by the way, sorry, Shirley sure Rowe can withstand a lot of abuse <laughs> because I've been doing some crazy stuff with my guitars. Okay, uh, thank you very much, guys. God bless you.